Hello! Uh, look, I don't know if you can see it actually, but this is the next Launcher Hustle stuff on a rail next to me. So, it, like... If you have one of the recent hoodies, you know how soft these are. Basically, I wanted another colour in it, and that colour is grey. Then we've got the waffle coming back, but with a different style. And then we've got the oversized, but with the block panel. And for the ladies, dear. Alright, today, um, just sitting down, I don't, no plans, we're going to figure it out as we go along. You know, just hang out. With me and the camera, which basically means me and you guys. Carla, what are you looking at? Carla, who's out there? Who is it? Think positive and motivating thoughts. Me? <laughs> this is exactly how I heard it in my head. If I don't lift this, I am stupid and I'm crap. Tell me you don't relate. Like, it's, it's crazy and it? it's just like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Funny story, actually, the other day I missed a couple of snatches that I shouldn't have missed and... <laughs> It was just one of those days where I just wasn't in this, this space physically or mentally to be at the gym. Just, it happens and what I did was strip the weights off, took the bar out, put the bar in, decided to walk home and realised that was a bad idea halfway home because it's quite a, a long walk and I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm kind of over it now. But I'd made the decision and Jazz, Jazz was like, you got to stick with it, I'm not picking you up. And I was calling you but this week, start the new block. Not a cloud in the sky today, you know what that means? It's a good day. Even if there was a cloud, or even if it's raining, it's just still a good day. Because you're in it, team. We. Bit of flare. Look at that. Got the sun in my hand. Oh, it just appeared. <laughs> Damn car is chugging, it's cold. It's zero. Cool. We'll put on some mic. Oh no, it's already on. See, it's already playing on my phone. Last year I was in his top 0.2% of listeners. I don't know if I should be proud or maybe start listening to other people. Whilst we sit here and talk anyway, Luke Combs has a new song out and it's growing up and getting old and it, I can vibe with that. And if that doesn't excite you enough, he has 18 new songs. Songs? Song, song, songs, <laughs> songs coming on March the 24th. And as we know, if you're into country music like I am, the 50% of you that are that watch this video, every single one of these is going to be a banger. But anyway, back to getting old. Turned 30 on the 28th of January, so only like a week ago. Went go-karting with all my friends from home. You know, I feel privileged to have such an amazing group of friends from school. There's like 15, 20 of us that just, no matter how much time we spend apart, you come back together and it's just clicks, you know? You just click, and Jazz set up a surprise for them to all come go-karting. And we went around Nottingham and it was good. <laughs> Even my dad came go-karting, right? Jeff, don't quit. And I was just like, look guys, one thing we can't do today is kill my dad in a go-kart. Hey <laughs> you can't say that. Can't say that. Can't say that. Oh, hello. Writing it down, second day in a row. How exciting. Not mobilising and describing today, just describing. We'll do mobilising in a minute. Show business. Let's talk about it. No, the Grammys were a couple of days ago on the 6th of February, and this photo is a rock meeting Adele. Yeah, that's right, a rock meeting Adele. I, I just enjoyed that. You know, put it in there whilst I was writing the program down. Good angle. Good booty. Good booty. Influencer, hashtag influencer. Hi, you're looking a little bit knocked up. Yeah, I think so. Can you just wake up a little bit? Okay, okay, okay. Little bit of educational content for this part of the vlog. Especially over these next four weeks, maybe the next eight weeks of this block, depending on how it is, we're going to be doing pulls, both snatch pulls and clean pulls from a deficit. 
which is basically you put a plate or what I'm doing here top of a jerk block on the floor should be about two or three inches and honestly it's a game changer one for increased time under tension you put in a longer period of stress on the muscles when you're pulling and that's due to the bigger range of movement and what do I mean by a bigger range of motion uh, getting in this start position adding a couple of inches under your feet forces you to have a bigger bend in the hip knee and ankle joints and one of the main things that we're focusing on here with the push off the floor is the quads obviously the greater the flexion in the knee joint the greater the use of the quads and for a longer period of time basically for me this exercise is perfect to help teach a long enduring pull before then making the power position which then helps you build the ability to be more technically stable when coming off the ground because a lot of the time lifts are missed from the ground and being in a bad position being pulled out of position i'm doing this twice a week at the moment once with cleans once with snatches and only building up to 80 90 percent of my clean or snatch at the moment but over time that will creep up to over max snatch over max clean with the volume that will add up now what to think about when doing this exercise, obviously it, it looks like a pull off the floor, but it's a push. Push with the feet down into the floor. Your knees should come back to vertical, allowing the bar to pass it smoothly and stay in a good straight line. And then you're in the power position from there. Get good solid extension, keep driving. Super good exercise for people that have weak lower backs. Definitely, I'm going to recommend this 100%. Stay light, start light, because the range of motion can put you in a bad position if you don't have good mobility and just put you in general weak positions if you're not used to it. But yeah, go get strong, do deficits. Uh, back on with the rest of the video. Starting again. <laughs> there you are, but it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. You fill it up it once back. before you can build up again. Stripping it back. Starting again with more knowledge. <laughs> and a little bit stronger than I was before, so it's a good place to start. Three quick pointers. Chest up. Strong core, load the ass. Because I tend to, when it gets heavy, and before I used to tend to jerk by going on like this. If you think about how much power you can actually get from this, not a lot. Whereas if you load ass hamstrings but keep that chest up, you can use the. Use dead ass. Use the ass, yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm reprogramming. I'm <laughs> learning to load but keep nice and upright. Use the big muscles. It's hard, isn't it? Just want to take this part of the video to thank Whoop for sponsoring the video. Link down below to get yourself a free Whoop 4.0 and a free month of Whoop. The best wearable for training, data feedback, and overall wellness. Legends. Decaf Tetley tea. 30 years old now. You know what I mean? It's past five o'clock, can't have any caffeine. Get the beautiful bag. Slap it in a mug. Oh yeah. Oh. Don't want the tea bag sat in there too long. Gonna give it a bit of a strain. Oh yes. And then this is where the magic comes. Get the milk. You gotta get that nice shade of brown with the tea. Wait for it. Oh yeah, there it is. There's that nice shade. Maybe a little bit too milky, that one. But it's still perfectly drinkable and very British. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, when we came back from Miami, Jazz had a moment and she bought two palm trees. I don't know if you realize that, but uh, yeah. Costa del Miami over here. This is my perching log. I've been using it the last couple of days. It's like good mobility. Kind of whilst you sit down. 
Cheers. What else has happened this week? Uh, the F1, a couple of the F1 cars got released that we're going to see next year. Red Bull. Wow, they really went for a drastic change in how it looks. But I'm very excited. It's like the 25th of this month or something. We have a new drive to survive. Woohoo! Currently, Jazz and I are watching Vikings Valhalla and I'm like, I'm loving it. We've just finished season one. Skull, as they would say. But anyway, team. Hello. Hello, this is Frisbee. You ready? You want to go this way? This way. But anyway, team, if no one's told you today you're an absolute legend, you are an absolute legend. We'll catch you in the next one. Just enjoy this tea and the dogs are going to play some Frisbee. Ready? Thank you.